Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be discovering about Danum Valley. So let's go. So the main question is, what is Danum Valley? Where is it? All right. So what is Danum Valley? What's so special about it? It is a hundred and thirty million years old rainforest. Do you know how long that is? That's in the Jurassic Park. You mean that dinosaurs have been there or was there? There's no dinosaurs now. Okay. And you ask again, what is so special about this Danum Valley? What's the value of a 130 million years old rainforest? My answer to you is the flora and fauna, the animals and the plants and the trees that's inside Danum Valley itself. So you can see these gigantic trees up to 100 meters high in Danum Valley. They're just super huge, super tall and it's breathtaking just to be under the leaves and under the roofs of these trees. Alright, so other than the trees, so not many people are interested in trees, what is another factor to go and visit Danone Valley is the animals there. It's just with the Borneon animals, it's famous worldwide. You have the orangutans, okay, they're quite orange, fluffy monkeys that are cute, they're quite endangered as well. We've got the hornbill, there's the rhinoceros hornbill, the great hornbill, there's so many hornbills in Borneo that um, it's hard to chase. And then you have also the chance to see the red leaf monkeys, which is a bit common. The gibbons are also common. If at night, you might see the colugos at night. Um, I did manage to see a deer. I think it was a... Well, what kind of deer? I'll write it down. Some kind of deer at night, during our night safaris. And if the rarer, rarer species, you can see a snow cat. Sorry, cat leopard, if you're lucky enough. Or even the Borneon pygmy elephant. It's like a baby elephant, but I don't count the chances. It's in nature, it depends on what you can see or what you cannot see. There's no guarantee. Lah. So the third question would be, where exactly is Danum Valley? How come I never heard of it? So Danum Valley is, first of all, if you're not Malaysian, it's in Malaysia and it's in Borneo region of Sabah. The, the, the Negeri is called Sabah and the region is, the island is called Borneo. And it's near the town called Lahat Datu. So basically, if you're flying in from Kuala Lumpur, you have to fly into the Kota Kinabalu, which is Sabah's uh, main city. And then you have to take another hour flight to Lahat Datu. And then you have to drive for three hours up into the forest into Danum Valley and that Danum Valley ride for three hours is definitely one bumpy ride all right so what do you get to see in your three days or four days three nights package uh, in Danum Valley itself so first of all the activities the activities are amazing okay in the morning we hiked up in the hill so like the valley from like sky view or like mountain view and it was just an amazing view seeing these trees and then you can see like at night time sometimes you can go for the night safari or the night walks and you can see the nocturnal animals we saw some some squirrels some deer some night deers and also some frogs you can hear a lot of insects in the middle of the night and then uh, for me i love the morning hikes and also the river tubing okay the river tubing is an amazing experience to really go down um, from the top of uh, the, uh, the river up from near i think it's a 30 minute river tubing experience all the way down and then uh, the main activity would be the canopy walk but the common walk is something else man it's just so surreal uh. it's like you're in this canopy and then you can see from down you can see like oh man that was the best experience ever you have to go for yourself canopy walk is something you can't miss next question will be about the food lah, kan? so what do you eat there oh my god the food was amazing eh? so each meal is a buffet okay breakfast buffet lunch buffet dinner buffet and I'm telling you, the food is really authentic, authentic Malaysian and there's also some Western food because they want to make it available suitable for everyone who's coming there. But the food was amazing. I ate non-stop. I think I gained back 5 kg after my trip and the food was just like, oh my god. I love the burgers. The burgers were amazing. The lobsters were amazing. Woo! Power beer. Alright, so how do you book your trip to Danu Valley, you ask? So the way that we booked was we went online, emailed them, uh, Lodge something. I'll put the link in below. And then uh, there's packages, three days, two nights, or four days, three nights. We did three days, two nights, and it was action-packed, like non-stop. You were, I don't even think that you sleep in the bed just to, to rest, basically. Other than that, you're just out in the forest. Uh. So it was amazing. The price is a bit steep. I think it's around three to 5,000 per pack. We got like 1,005 because it was during MCO period, but it was three to five times. But it's definitely worth every penny if you're paying and you're loving uh, nature and you like the hikes. It's like a once in a lifetime experience. Eh? Okay, and you can choose between different chalets and if you want a prettier chalet, you have to pay more and no more. But it's all included. Eh? The accommodation, the food, the activities is all included in the price. Can't get it anywhere else. No pee walk, you must go, definitely. 
Alright guys, so I'm gonna do a further vlog after this is gonna be like a step by step of what we did on every day on the next videos. Next two videos I think I'm gonna do day one, day two. So if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe and don't forget to share guys. It helps me out a lot. I've been putting content a lot and it's really difficult for me and I really appreciate if you can leave it in the comment if you manage to finish the video so I know that I get the support from you guys. Thanks. See you guys.